Uh, hello our customers thank you for watching us in this video i'm going to demonstrate for you the ecu tuning and repair tools being sold at el mohandis workshop equipment i will start with the, the new uh, kiss 3 uh, from company uh, uh, called alientic it's italian company very famous in the fact in this field uh, they were doing the kiss and k tag and you know the the uh, there is in the market ch chinese cloned kiss and k tag this is version 2 and this is the kiss 3 is the version 3 out of this kiss 3 kiss and k tag uh, kiss version 2 was famous to uh, to you know to upload the software from the ecus and tcus over obd and k tag was was for the bench and boot but they have combined both of these tools and made it, made it as one tool called KISS3 uh, the, this is the new shape so if this is, can work for uh, boot, pinch and OBD and uh, we also uh, sell a flex uh, magic from magic sport company from Italy also made in Italy a competitors and uh, equivalent to Alientic um, HP tuners also MBVI2 uh, plus and now there is MBVI3 in uh, the market so i'll just explain about this one also kt200 the a new generation of ktm flashes and it's a upgraded model of G gelito some people say this is the clone device for alientic i'm not really sure but the coverage list is there in our website you can visit www.almohandis.com uh, we also uh, sell KTM flashes. This is KTM flash 32 in in one, so it supports 32 modules and BCM tuners also that supports 67 modules. Okay, this is the new generation of KTM flashes. Uh, the BCM tuner there is actually two BCM tuner. One is the new at the left hand, this one, and this is the old one, the original one. Actually, this is a cloned one from this one. So, but both of them works fine. You need to register this one, but this one, the new one. You, no need for registration, but the flasher software works so fine. We also demonstrate and sell a KTM tool, the black color, which can support 67 modules, and also KTM uh, JTAG that can work for J2534 protocol and support up to 32 uh, modules. And uh, you can use it in your workshop uh, as an OBD board supplying power supply for uh, your tools and your uh, modules. And also FC200. We sell others, but this is the major things what we sell at this moment. Uh, what this tool is for, I can tell you that this is for ECU, uh, engine control units, and uh, TC, uh, TCM or TCU, transmission control uh, unit. So every engine in the car has a, a controller that controls the inputs, outputs uh, uh, coming to the, from the engine. So all the pressure switches, all the all the you know sensors, temperature sensors, whatever, goes to this module, and there is a logic we wrote uh, uh, inside <laughs> this controller. Upon that inputs, it will create uh, signals to the valves, to the uh, motors, to the uh, you know to the cylinders, to giving signal to the uh, 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 in, in injectors and maybe air uh, inlets, uh, manifolds. So, you know, all this logic is being wrought by the manufacturers of the car. Using this uh, controller, maybe it can be Bosch or Siemens or uh, 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 Delphi, whatever. There is a lot of controllers in the market. They load their software inside this one and it will control. So this one, the board does have input outputs and also the communication boards. So basically, you know, these tools, um, in the fact, the manufacturer uh, does the software at certain uh, parameters to give the car the most uh, uh, possible uh, lifetime <laughs> and efficiency. So they do not want the RPM to go uh, so uh, big, so it will not spoil the pistons and it will not uh, consume the power and the lifetime should be Okay, so they, they do really uh, a lot of uh, work uh, behind this tuning. They call it tuning. They tune this uh, controller to to control the engines in such a way um, to to you know to maintain the lifetime and you know uh, all of this stuff. 
so I, I want to be brief actually but uh, also you know there is a controller controlling the transmission control module and you know to to make it also this is can take signals also from the uh, ecu to give the uh, the shifting for, for the transmission from uh, gear one to gear two gear three so you know uh, some people want to uh, increase the power horse some people want to uh, you know decrease this to make the fuel economy um, in our region in gcc country they really want to uh, uh, make more uh, power uh, maybe some of them goes to the uh, sand and they you know they need little bit more power or maybe a throttle response more uh, maybe in the highways they want to open the speed limit I will just talk about what can be done with these tools my explanation here is uh, to be frank I believe that the, the best software is being done by the <laughs> the manufacturers of the cars sorry i am a little i have a little flu because of the season now uh, but I, a lot of customers insisted to do this video in english language i have done it in arabic language uh, the, the recommendation from the manufacturers is, is to keep this software as it is not to spoil it not to change it because this is the uh, uh, you know a lot of uh, r d uh, research you know has been done on in, in specific car to get uh, the best out of this engine and uh, transmission control module but sometimes even the manufacturer themselves they want to do some modifications that is why they need also uh, to do this uh, work uh, now you know every manufacturer is going um, with the internet of things to, so they want after they throw the model uh, in the market you know they want to modify some parameters they want to do it over internet not to bring every car to the workshop and this is the trend and this is the new uh, future for the car industry so this is called tcm module so the uh, you need the tool to upload this software by laptop do some modifications and then download it back uh, to this it's not magic but also need the right tool to have the right tool example on what can be done by this tool maybe you know uh, open the speed limit so um, i as i told you i have done this in arabic language but okay i'm talking in english now for you to understand what is this uh, uh, can be uh, done so the speed limit some of the manufacturers let's say gm they maybe they do the speed limit at 140 but you know you you can open the speed limit very very small very uh, symbol uh, uh, modification rbm some of the uh, manufacturer you know they limit the uh, the the rbm so the rev limit or uh, you can adjust it like you know you want to shift from gear one to or to speed two or to gear two i can say uh, three four you know the rbm uh, uh, goes to 4.5 then it will change some of the people wanted to go uh, beyond this uh, to give more power for the car and some of them want to switch off the AC uh, at certain point of RBM so not to, to kill the the horsepower so all of these modifications you can do it like this you know emo emo off you can do the emo off and this is very important sometime you know you change the engine you change the transmission system and you need really to do the emo off so you these tools are the right tools to do the emo off DBF also you know you can cancel the dbf because a lot of uh, complaints about this egr also you can make it off uh, like you know the, the lambda o2 uh, sensor you want to eliminate it uh, a lot of workshops they search uh, some good tool to do the, uh, the the dtc removal i just jump with this uh, let me try to go back but okay but the DTC removal, you know, uh, mean to say if you have an error, error code B121, let's say, and you want to remove it totally from this one, this is not a recomm recommended, but I can tell you that this is, can be done, and a lot of people searching for it. Math sensor, you want to remove the math sensor, math delete, remove your mass airflow sensor, maybe you can uh, remove the add blue, uh, SCR delete, you know, maybe you can do. Uh, you want to disable or prevent issues uh, 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 from future failures, maybe from diesel, car only, you know. 
and this is also important tool to switch from stage one to stage two to stage three a lot of uh, young guys they really search it and this is a hobbies you know to to uh, skating in the cars and you know do maneuvering so yeah they need this one uh, some of people uh, uh, you know in in in, in very uh, expensive uh, fuel countries or you know also now you know all the fuel uh, in, in every country it is very costly so you want to save uh, the money for the fuel so you want to make the consumption lower the tuner can uh, reduce the you know the the response of the uh, throttle maybe can also uh, you know reduce the the the, the uh, injectors uh, uh, fuel maybe uh, uh, save some petrol uh, what can this tool support it can support uh, small cars uh, boots uh, marine inboard outboard uh, things you know uh, agriculture uh, equipments and motorbikes and also the heavy duty trucks and trailers and all of this stuff so and buses also the big buses uh, how to work with this you can do the by obd so you hook up this tool to by cable to the obd with the laptop and you have the software of each tool along along with each tool so you can upload the software have it in your laptop open it by uh, you know uh, third party uh, software or by the software itself of the of that machine you can modify or give it to someone modify it for you yeah, take it back you can also do by bench by bench means you have you need to take the controller outside the ecu units or tcm units outside and you know the tool will tell you where to connect the cable so you know uh, first of all the campuses the grounds and uh, you know the uh, can law and the, all these signals so you upload the software and you download the software some of the people also done, done simulations, so they connect inputs outputs to the controller and they uh, simulate things. Okay, and uh, boot mode. Boot mode means you need to open the cover of this one. So uh, I can I can tell you that you know the best the better tool, the 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 the, the, the one can support more in OBDs, more in bench, but not more in boots. But sometime you know uh, some of the controllers. Uh, you must open the boot and upload the software from the ships directly uh, so this is the three methods uh, you know when when you search about your tool you must know uh, uh, x car can be done by obd uh, y car can be done by bench so before you choose your tool please go to the supported list and to the coverage list of each tool and check the car you want to work with and recognize it it will work by obd or bench by boot no surprises so before you decide because we are as a seller you know we offer you all the units but you need to check your which one can support alientic is really very good tool i can uh, tell you that this is made in italy and very very expert guys they, they are the one who manufactured the ecu titanium which is the uh, remapping software and uh, you know they have before kiss and k tag the great tools you can find them as chinese we also offer them but they, they are uh, sub they support you up to 2015 i believe and you know uh, not very very stable but okay they can do some work if you want cheap tool they can really do some work but for the new models you must go for kiss 3 which is the latest uh, unit uh, let me tell you that KISS was is, uh, designed for OBD uh, upload and download and KTAG was uh, being used for bench and boot but the new one supports both together <coughs> okay so OBD bench and boot HP tuner when you go for HP tuner HP tuner is a very great tool very simple tool because it furnish all the data all the maps all the tables in a very nice way and very simple way but you must know that HP tuner is more oriented for uh, USA made cars like you know GM Ford uh, Jeep Dodge Chrysler you know they have uh, a potential now to to 
uh, you know, enhance the uh, coverage for Japanese and Koreans uh, cars, but please go to their website. I can give you the link. Maybe uh, I can leave the links in downside of the page. So it's very easy. You can go to the website, just go to the vehicles and see what vehicles are covered by this. But this is really great tool. But you know, you, the initial cost is really very low. And also, you know, uh, you can work in each and every car by point. So if you have really, you want to work with your own car, it's the best tool. The fact in the market, there is a lot of people who hack this one and make it work without points. But okay, we don't recommend this. We are an official distributor for HP Tuner, but it is there. We cannot deny the facts. Uh, but you know, it's, it's really a great tool. For one car, you can buy some units and keep working in your car. I'll take you to the Magic Sport. Magic Sport also support, you know, if, support bench and obd because they have an obd cable connected to the, this is connected to the laptop and also to the car from here and you know it will give you a lot of coverage the coverage is really massive and uh, you can buy this one i i explained in a, a separate uh, uh, presentation about the prices of flex when you want to buy flex you must tell us you want to work with ecu alone or tcu alone or both of them so if you want to work with tcu and ECU, because some guys they come to us and say i don't care about tcu transmission control module i just work for uh, engine control module and you know you have to also uh, clarify that you want to work as a master or as a slave master means you can upload the file work on it yourself and do a lot of change yourself and download it but if you are a slave you can just upload the file clone i can say this is ecu and tcm clone so you buy maybe a new engine and you have a controller that has nothing or has maybe a different software inside it and you want to have the right software for this car so you clone that you you, you upload you upload from the old car and you put it in the new car this is called the clone. i recommend this slave for the people who does this one and for the people who don't know about it tuning because you can select your master send the file to your master and your master can do the change for you please when you call us please tell us what do you want exactly master slave or you want ecu and or tcu units fc 200 is made by uh, cgdi company it's i can feel it's a clone from from flex but they clone i think more uh, uh, in, in bosch controllers so if you work in bmw I think this is really the best tool for you because it's cheap and you know it can do the work. I have to be realistic in this presentation, regardless. Uh, this is really copy, or but but this is the fact. <coughs> so 200 Bosch ECU read and write protocols without opening the cover. Added 490 new protocols. This is you know the BCM tuner, KTM and BCM tuner. So this is 32 modules in there, you know, and this is the, the a new BCM tuner. This is a clone from the original BCM tuner. This is, you need to register on their website, but you know, the flash software can do fine in both of them. So this is more, I, this is KTM flash for 67 modules. I feel that these tools are really good for, you know, Japanese, Koreans, some of Europeans, but okay, but, but 